got it open. Oh. Wow, we have a huge counter all the way down through here. Wow, that's amazing, I love it. Hey guys, uh, John Ward here. I'm with uh, my new best friend, Tommy <laughs> Ellison, and I feel like I'm getting ready to go to Disney World. Uh, we're getting ready to go into his grandpa's old store known as IT Ellison Store in Speedwell area. Uh, we have no real idea how old this store is, but I'm gonna show you some of the block before we go in. It's been years since it's been opened up. It's been over 50 years since this store has operated and it still has merchandise inside that we're gonna go in and look at. And I'm I'm so excited. I wouldn't even let him open the door because I wanted him to I wanted to do this live. And so we don't know what we're gonna see when we get in here, but this store is a big part of Powell Valley history right here because so many people over the years came here to buy clothing even I, yeah. I, he, Tommy tells me there's clothing in there from 1969 or older so we're gonna look at that and I'm gonna flip the camera around here and I'm gonna show you the house where his grandpa lived this is the house that uh, Isaac Thomas is that right yep his grandpa, he was known by as IT. I he lived next door here. And as you can see, these cut block on the side of the uh, house are very similar to what we see on the store here. Let me zoom back a little bit. And we see these block right here. And I'll post more pictures on Facebook later. We see the block, hand cut block, and somebody watching might can tell us more about what yours that they would have done this type of work. Uh, there's steps going up right here, and we've got the hand cut block all the way down through here. I'm going to walk down these steps right here, let you get a picture of the side of the building here you see these block they're very similar to what's on the house next door so i'm thinking they were built about the same time so if anybody can date those blocks let me know they had a fence that came all the way around the front right here made out of these hand cut block with steps coming up and we're getting ready to go in here in just a second just wanted to show you the outside and uh I'm a little bit out of breath climbing around here, but I'm excited to get ready to get it in the building. Got some help to run lighting. So, all right, Tommy, let's see if we can get it open and let people see what's in here. <laughs> oh, he's got it open. He's got it open. Oh. Wow, we have a huge counter all the way down through here. Wow, that's amazing. I love it. Look at this counter, guys. There's two of these on each side. And, oh, I found one crack in this counter right here in this glass, Tommy. That's the first cracked glass I found. But we have some counters down through here that are just absolutely beautiful. These are original. This, the cool thing about this store was it never was updated with metal shelving and metal, uh, you know, fixtures in it. The old wood and glass fixtures are still here. This counter, gosh, I don't know. It's gotta be 40 foot long. 
This right here was something I saw earlier. I really love this. If you ever get rid of this radio, Tommy, I'm in love with it, buddy. Check out that old pot belly stove. I bet there's been a many a story told around that stove. And the chair. Nail kegs. Here's another stove. That's the original stove that's in the Over here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, that's the chair that Papa died in. You think your papa died in that chair right there no, at the store? No, he died, yeah. He was here when he died at the store. So, we're still tracking down some history on this, and I'll definitely post more information as I get it. Wow, check these TVs out. Early 60s TVs, maybe. Maybe late 50s. I'm not for sure. Maybe somebody can tell us about that. We have another counter on these sides. So we've got two counters. Gosh, they're about 35, 40 foot long, looks like. It comes down through here. Um, wow, those are still in really good shape. They're not broke. The glass is good. This looks like somebody's cast that come off their arm right here. Yeah, that was my mammals. Come off a leg. It's that leg cast. It might be, yeah. Let me see your light there a minute, Terry. And I might can put it over. Uh, I'm not for sure I'm going to go too much more back in here. Let me look. I can do it, I think. J.K. Robison. So make sure to tell Tommy thanks on your comments for letting us come in here to see this. I appreciate his time letting us come in here and see these things. Look here on the shelf. We've got some uh, different products that was probably sold here. Terry, come here just a minute and help me. I want to look at some of these items. B insect powder. So this is the back of these cases I was looking at. Check the lanterns out. So, so here is some fabric the store probably sold. Tommy, do you, you said you thought there might have been some clothes left in here. Are they on the other side, maybe? Okay. Terry, get this right here for me a second. And let me, let's go up here and see if we can find them. What do you find in that case? What's that? Let's open that up and see what that is. Well, here, let me hold the light for you. Then you open it. What do we find? Yeah, some stamps and, a, and an ink pad and ink. And that you could have made different letters probably and made yeah, what you wanted. Yeah, that's what you did. Absolutely, yeah. These cases are just amazing. Your book, what's that say? 19... 1957. 1957. And that was something you think they kept records with maybe here? Or? Ain't that an ITL? Can you read that? I don't have my glasses on. I believe it is. So open it up and see what it puts on inside of it. It might be a record of who owed him money. I found a date. Boy, okay, from Little Hef. That's, that's we kept the record. 58. Oh, we found a calendar over here on the wall. Let's go look at that. I know there was a sign out on the outside. We redone that wall. We took it off in the 1944 license plate. Really? Yeah, I've got it on the house. Who was that? On that, I put new wood on the outside. Yeah. There was a sign there, a big Pepsi sign. Yeah. And when I took that sign down, it had a 1942, or 44 license plate wow. sticking in behind it. Shine up here, Terry. Look at these old uh, ammo posters. They sold ammo, apparently, and I guess they probably sold fishing tackle and stuff, probably, too, so... 
I miss Western ones. Oh, I okay. gun, wasn't it? Or brand of IMO one. Look how those doors are made. They come set in. Yeah, they're exactly a double door. There. Yep, they are. And uh, look at that old doorknob. Finding stuff like this is just a real treat for me. <laughs> and we got showcases all the way down this side. Oh, wow. We have a whole Coke collection of bottles down through here, Tommy. Yeah. You've got a... They wouldn't know that may have been there for Somebody broke in and went through and ransacked everything, Tommy says. So they are absolutely amazing. I bet you could plug them up and they'd still play almost. Um, the beadboard in here is original. There's just so much stuff to look at. I'm going to try to take some pictures, and I've got some drone footage I shot outside. And I'm trying to get the Ellison family motivated and coming in here and making this into a museum of some kind <laughs> because it's just it could be just absolutely a, a work of art because you just don't see stuff like this no more um yes fire extinguisher yeah they were overlooking a few things look at this fire extinguisher somebody might can date that for us um that is an old one and i know they're worth a little bit of money here's something else we found check this out guys this is not a reproduction that you can buy online this is an original new stock tire that was in this store that we found for a model a or a model t it does have an, a name on it. it's called tourist and it's got a size on it so if anybody knows anything about this let us know i'm thinking it's got to be really rare then it's still in the wrapper but we find these signs up here too it's back up here just a little bit let's look we was looking at some stuff here earlier we still have some of the old ammo and gun signs and Tommy and Terry was looking over there in the catalog where they could order all that stuff. The date, yeah, let's look here. We got a calendar still up here from uh, 1958. Polar bear flare, L&M cigarettes, these old pictures. Check these out. Don't know who they are, but we can tell from the back that these are some old frames you don't find frames made like this these had to be i'm gonna think late 1800s 1890 these could have been the original owners of the store who knows these could have been the the people that started it it'd be interesting to find out uh yeah we got some uh, goodie powders over here let me get over here and we had some tums i use a lot of tums i get indigestion and uh we found Tums right here, still in the pack. Uh, these are probably from around 1970. You get three rolls for 33 cents. How about that? They're about $2, two dollars a pack now. So they're still sitting right here on the shelf. And there's some roll papers and there's some stand back and there's some goodies. Yeah, look at if that. If, they, if you didn't you have you two for five cents. You get enough deal on them goodie powders, you get you some stand back. <laughs> Maybe just a little cheaper. <laughs> you had them on the bottom. There's a lot of books in here that's brought in sometime after the store closed for storage. But check out all the, the cabinets down through here, the, the shelving on the walls. I can get you a little bit better shot across the room right here. And we're going to go over there and look at that clothing. But um, there's still 50-year-old clothing or maybe older than that in the box. We're going to walk over there in just a second and look at that real quick. How about scales? Oh, yeah. Here's the scales. Uh, there's just so much stuff in here. There's no way we can get it in in one video maybe we'll get to come back at some point and, and go through this again um here was what was this we found in this box here we found some stamps stamps was that wonder if that was used for the store or maybe school letters you could make you out say your a or there somebody was school teacher honey or wax or something in that in the little you bottles. Them round bottles right there oh yeah here's something honey or wax What's that say? White petroleum. That's Vaseline. <laughs> Vaseline. How about that? Uh, is that razor blades? Yeah. Yes, it is. Oh, look at that. There's a bunch of them in there. They've been a bird or something get in here and make a nest that's flew through. So it's hard to say what a man would dig out of here if you went through here piece by piece. Let's go over here where these uh, pop bottles are, Terry, and let them see some of them pop bottles. Okay. I bet if, uh, a lot of these stores would take in fresh farm items, eggs and mm -hmm. vegetables and things they grew to trade for sugar and different things they couldn't grow on the farm. Um, 
I'll, I'll let you get in front of me and, I'll, and you can shine down on them lights instead of over me so we can see these. Here's another, another Vaseline jar and we have all these glass cabinets on this side coming down through here. But there's a couple bottles I had never seen. They apparently never- a checkbook. Checkbook, no? What we got? Checkbook. Oh, look at that. This is a checkbook. People's National Bank. A shout out to People's National Bank in La Follette. These checks are wrote in 1945. How about that? $17. Actually, I've got some of them over at my house. 1948. Well, wow. This checkbook, they didn't write a lot of checks. They're we started 1945. Papa's name on them. We got some of them over to house in a picture frame. Wow. All the way to 1955. So about 10 years of checks right there. That's really cool. Let's set this up here so it don't get stepped on. Um, right here, Terry, let's get some light. Look at some of these old crush bottles and these old Mountain Dew bottles. I collect, anybody that's been into my store knows that I collect bottles. I've got some up down there. And uh, these are just... If they've got Yahoo Mountain Dew on them, they're old. <laughs> <laughs> so there was a canola bottle right down here I I'm saw earlier. They come in old Mountain Dew bottles. It's got that uh, man with the rifle on is the one that people... Right. I, I, ain't, I don't think I've seen any of them on in here. Uh, Here's a big Mountain Dew bottle. A little moonshiner looking dude with yeah. the hat on. <laughs> yeah. And the shotgun or something. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here... Is that one of them right there? In that Pepsi six pack? It sure is. Well, that's one with the jug shooting the cork through his hat. Oh, wow. That's an old one there, guys. Look at that. That's not the Mountain Dew bottle over That's not Mountain Dew, though, is it? Mm -hmm. What is it? No, it is. Yeah, it is, is Mountain yeah, that's Dew. The one, that's the one. Well, that's my favorite drink. A shout out to Mountain Dew. Yeah, that's the, uh, How about that? There's two more of them. So where, where'd that canola bottle go we had over here? It was um, something I'd never seen. Might be on down this way because there's bottles all the way down through here. Crush bottles, Pepsi bottles. This is just amazing to get to come through this. This is like Disney World to me. Um, we saw a canola bottle earlier. I don't know what we did with it, but uh, I never seen I one like that. that other boat. Yeah. Okay, let's go on down just a little bit. I want to see if anybody knows what this bottle is. Right here it is. I see it. This is the only one I'm seeing in here in the bunch of these. It's called Pop Co Cola. Uh, 12 ounces. Biggest thirst value under the sun. If anybody knows about that, make a comment. Um, here is the clothes that we were looking at earlier. We found clothes and shoes that are still in the boxes. Check this out, guys. And one with a bird's nest in it. And one with a bird's nest. We've got... Boxes of shoes still here, over 50, maybe 60 years old. We've got... That's a kid's shirt. Oh, check that out, guys. Still got the tags on it. Blue wing, a little better, maybe is what that's trying to say. Uh, tell me those are... There's a whole box of them probably the same size there. So that's in the pack. Same. Um... I think there was a little kid's shoes here we saw too. Okay, yeah, check those out. Well, I'm, I know there's some collectors probably really thinking, wow, they'd like to have those, Tommy. Those, those are neat. I like this top shelf that sets along top up here. You can't really see it when you're looking up that way, but if you look on the other side of the room, see that top shelf over there? I told them, I said, oh, you take these Coke bottles and set them up there and they'd look good. Wouldn't take a lot to do that. Um, there's just so much to look at here, guys. We just, oh yeah, we didn't show this. Check this out. I'm gonna see if Tommy will give me some a piece of this paper to frame because I know that somebody else took a piece and has got it framed. Um, IT Ellison, Isaac Thomas Ellison, Speedwell, Tennessee, a complete line of reasonably priced general merchandise, traded home, Star brand shoes are better. So maybe these are star brand. I don't see star brand on these right here, but this is what they would have wrapped up different things with that you would have bought, That's including they food. They got none of them because they sold all these. They sold all the star brands are gone. <laughs> so they're gone. I don't see no Nikes around here, so I don't think Nikes is around in the 
in the 60s and 70s when this place closed up. But um, really appreciate everybody watching. Make sure to like the Appalachian Homes People and Places Facebook page. And, uh, hey, I think Tommy's cut me off a piece of paper here. Look at this. He's my new best buddy, I told him. Yeah. I'm going to frame that and put that in my store. If you come into my store, Tech Zone in Jacksboro, I'll have that framed before too long. Probably come around here, buddy. Let me let me just tell you how wonderful it's been to come in here, and I'm sure there's a lot of people that trade. Welcome. Trade. I'm sure so many hundreds and uh, meeting thousands of people live in this valley traded here over the years that they lived here, and uh, this is just to get to see this. It means a lot to me, and I'm sure the people watching. And uh, I appreciate you sharing this history with us, buddy. I know it takes time out of your evening with your family, but yeah. it's, just, it's just really great to see it. And uh, everybody, make sure to leave a comment for Tommy and his family. Let them know how much you love this store. I know you got. If you're like me, you gotta love it. And we're gonna sign off. And me and Terry's going on up the road looking for some more places. And uh, we'll see y'all next time.